Yep, it's on. Hi, my name is Christy and I'm a peer worker from Life Without Barriers. I've been living with schizoaffective disorder for about 15 years now. Schizoaffective disorder is a combination of schizophrenia and a mood disorder, either bipolar or um, depression. Over the years, I've done many things to help myself, like meditation, medication, but poetry has been a great one for me. And I'd like to share with you a poem I wrote about psychosis. Remember what it was like to have the stars in your eyes? Your mind was on the journey, not the final prize, but now you're stuck in the present, consumed by psychosis, walking around disconnected from the truth, a state of hypnosis. Voices commanding you from the left and from the right, telling you to lose yourself, to give up the fight. They really don't care that you don't want to die, but they want you gone and never again to try. Visions plague your eyes and then your tired mind, the only thing you really wish for now is just to go blind. Shadowy figures walk around and walk past and cats wander around. Objects once on the floor are now hovering off the ground. You stand there at the curtain waiting for the police to arrest you. You've caused so much suffering and now punishment is due. 3am, no police, you're sure it's a conspiracy or a warning. But you've got to be vigilant at least until late morning. Late morning comes and the police haven't been. No sleep, not rested, but your mind is a machine. A secret service sends messages straight into your thoughts. You are to gather information and write up detailed reports. Your findings will help you to repay for whatever you have done. So you write until sunrise, just wishing you could run. Then a bright idea sparks, you must do away with all your cash. You are handed out to strangers, burn it, the rest goes in the trash. Once again, you're being watched, monitored if you like. Your food has been poisoned and your drinks have been spiked. You're sure your clothes hold the secret, the key, so you inspect them for cameras and yes, look, you've found three. Suspicious threads and fibres and a jumper has a little pull, so you spent hours trying inspecting the cotton, the polyester, the wool. So long you spent trying to find the answers you seek. No conclusions are found though when there's always room for critique. So weeks and then months come and pass by. Moments arise where your brain starts to comply. It's like a light shining through the smallest crack that brings colour to your world after only seeing black. Your mind is controlled, but not by something external like you think. It's this illness that's put everything out of sync. The pills, the therapy now allow sighs of relief. And what once were solid thoughts you now think of in disbelief. The haze in your mind lifts and it becomes quite clear that you were in a state of psychosis and there was nothing to fear other than the illness that put you in harm's way but you are safe now, you are no longer its prey. Time continues to pass by and its ugly head rears but you can now draw on coping strategies learnt over the years. To finish off, I just want to say if you know someone that suffers from psychosis in any way a client, a friend or anyone you may meet Hug them, pat them on their back for still standing on their feet. Say, I hear you, I know you get tired of it. And yet, at the end of the day, psychosis is shit. But yes, yeah, strong, it's obvious, look, you're still here. And together we can ride through this. Relief is near. Thank you and I hope you enjoy the rest of the festival.